Tell me when to initiate the drift. I've blown it. Overcooked it. Damn it. We've been doing this project with VW Bus Mag. I was going to buy a stinker, make it work, make it look cool, put a load of miles on it, and um, sort of give an honest insight into what it's like fixing something rather than building something for the sake of it. And I'd say this sort of it is where it is now and it's pretty honest. We'll work from the front back. So this was a 2007 van. It's had a facelift, so it's now a 2015 front on it. So I will stress, all of these parts, they're not brand new parts. They're bits we've had lying about, and bits I bought on eBay, and bits that I've tried to do in like a really normal, passive way on a pretty relaxed budget. Um, the bumper was secondhand and cost 50 quid. Um, I haven't been bothered to find these inserts, but that's kind of what this build's been about. It's not going to the show and shine. This bonnet was actually brand new on a van we had once upon a time, but um, funny story actually, I put it on a van and then I forgot to put the latch on it and it's going down the motorway at 80 and the, van, the bonnet went shrunk. Oh. Scariest moment of my life. But look, it folded in half here and um, I bent it back into shape. And, um, Is that safe? Is that okay? It's safe now, but it, it wasn't at the time. But like, just to use that bonnet, I thought it's just like, it's, it's fucked, but it's, it is you what it is. Around, Who are we kidding? The wings we picked up for 90 quid each on eBay, I think. Um, I sprayed the whole front end with a rattle can. Um, nothing special going on there. That's a, that's a T6 front end conversion. It's thrown together with string and sticky tape. It costs less than 400 quid and a few hours to do. Um, it wasn't very tech, but the front end was knackered anyway. And I, I think the T6 front ends look the coolest out of all of the variants. I think they look cooler than the T6.1 as well. Lowered it on Stance Plus coilovers, just as an experiment to see what like a mid-range coilover would ride like. We've usually put them on Bilstein, but we're really stoked on how 300 quid's worth of coilover suspension has worked. This is really nerdy stuff. It's BBS three-piece split rim hardware mated with a Volkswagen caddy wheel, so a 17-inch caddy wheel, steel cut out, then re-welded, then re-drilled, then mated with the hardware. And um, yeah, it's stupid really, but it's pretty badass. So it's actually, that it's a caddy fitment and then it's got VW T5 5x120 adapters to make it all work. And then it's got little tires there they're rad because they're made by a company called Radberg and they were cheap as shit. 225 40, 18. 88. Highly illegal. That should be 100. That's the rating of the, the load rating. But um, it's all right for cruising around town. Although I would go further in this thing. It's fucking fun. We're at the back. But this I bought for not much money. I think this was 300 quid locally. Local dude selling it threw the bumper in, which was smashed to pieces for a tenner. Um, put some glass in it, but I thought it was the same color as the whole van, but it's not. If you zoom out, Maxo, you'll notice that it's not the same color at all. Oh, it's not far off though, man. And it's what I thought. So what I did is I just sprayed this edge, this color, so it looks like it could maybe be that color. I don't know if I've achieved my goal. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> but I was just like, I couldn't be bothered to paint the whole thing. and um. Yeah, I wanted, a, I wanted the tailgate on it. So that's the tailgate. Glued the glass in. Glass is about 90 quid, 100 quid. That's a pretty big moment. Um, and I haven't been bothered to find a brake light or a door handle. But what I have done is I've got a bit of rope here. Give it a pull. Whoa. Most quite a satisfying noise, huh? Does it lock? I don't think it would lock. <laughs> And then I've got this like, um, what, what era of history was it where they had like wooden horses and they used to charge castles? Medieval. That's some medieval shit down here. Um, I'm not sure if that'll pass an MOT. Definitely won't. But there's some brackets that I've screwed in. I just need to grind those puppies off and that'll be sturdy. I say sturdy. 
It's sturdy. Uh, this van did not come with parking sensors, but it has holes if you did want to put them in. That's pretty much the outside, really. We've just slammed it, put on some cool wheels, and made it look a bit more modern. Can to have a look at the inside? This is pretty gross in here. Um, we've just given it a very good clean. Put some of our universal seat covers on because I think the pluses look cool on the headrests. And they're actually just hard wearing as shit and hide the sins underneath. And then a gear knob gator and a new gear knob because that's, I don't know, it was pretty yeah, gross. Knacker, I think we've got a video. And then new T6 steering wheel, flat bottom because we're racy boys. And then actually this fan has got aircon and like a parrot and just like, it's not a shit spec. It's pretty good. Electric windows, heated mirrors. It's, um, it's actually a better base than I gave it credit for. And I think that's the rarest thing in this whole van is the cup holders are still intact. You have a coffee, Max. Damn. Oh, I don't want to look in here. I'm scared. Huh. Not so bad. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. But actually, it's a good van, and should, I've been bouncing around in it for a few weeks, and it's just like really fun to drive. It's just like, it's cool. Sweet. Yeah. Check out the back. Yeah, let's go. And last but not least, we're going to throw in a, um, one of our floor conversions. I've actually just, the first three pieces have just gone in, and um, these are our, like flat pack kits that we can just sling in the back, and um, it's, we put them in every single van we ever do and we sell quite a lot of them to the public because it's just quite a neat nice way of uh storing all your shit without having a camp fan and then we put a bed in but we'll put a bed in if we need to put a bed in eventually but um let's sling this thing in maxi come it. on we are now going to close the boot because we're going to maneuver the van and then young max behind the camera is going to take some photos of this puppy because I'm going to ask the editor of Volkswagen Bus Magazine, Alan, very sweet guy, uh, if he wants to feature it. But not only feature it, we're going to try and ask him if he'll put it on the cover. He'll probably say no, which is fair enough. But he might say yes, in which case, look at this, look at this thing.